Hello everyone, you are come to creative writing class and our topic for today is simple report. Our learning objective is that in the class we'll be able to explain the meaning of a report, explain the aim of how to write a simple report and write a simple report on any topic of your choice. Now what is simple report all about? A simple report is a form of writing that presents information on any topic in an organized form. What it means is that it is like an essay and of course in this kind of essay presents an information on a particular topic and it has to be well arranged. It has to come in an organized form, right? And it is a truthful information meant to inform a reader about a specific topic and needs to be clear and well arranged with titles or headings. Now mark the word truthful there. In other words, it is an honest report. It is a real life report. It is not something that you can fabricate on your own. It is not something that you make up. It's just something that deals with real life topics, something that can be researched, something that when you report them, it has to be reality. When people want to make investigation about them, it has to be true, it has to be real. So that's the point. It is based on truth, okay? And then because it needs to be clear, it has to be well arranged with titles or headings. You know, if you need to start with introduction, and then after the introduction, you can go with definition and then the description of the topic, anything you have to do, but it has to be done or written in an organized form. Okay? And then to write this kind of report, you have to first of all choose a topic. Remember, you are dealing or writing about a specific topic, okay? Then you have to choose that topic and then read about it, research about it. If you need to ask people questions, you do so. You have to gather the information, every information that you need about that particular topic. And then when you've gathered the information that you need, you now arrange your points into titles or headings. Because remember, they have to come in an organized manner. So you arrange your points into titles or headings. Remember, I said earlier, you put some maybe under introduction, maybe another one under definition of the terms and all that, but it has to come in an organized form, okay? Even if you need pictures, you must get the pictures available and, of course, use it when you're doing your presentation or the writing. And after you've done this arrangement of your points, you now do the writing proper. Is that taken? Okay. Now let's move on now. I hope you're following. Now, an example of a simple report is one we have learned about or read about this comprehension passage. So look it up on Unit 6, pages 36 and 37 of your Nelson English textbook. The comprehension passage um, talked about rabbits. And then in that passage, if you go through that passage one more time, you'll discover that the writer has read about rabbits in information books and has used the information to write the report. Okay? And then the report has two parts. The first part is about wild rabbits. Of course, in that um, aspect, wild rabbits, the author was very, very detailed, very descriptive, gave us every information that he has gathered, you know, on white rabbits. And then the second part is about pet rabbits. The writer also used diagrams with labels to show what a rabbit warren looks like and also used a picture with a caption. So the caption tells the reader more about the picture. Okay? 
Now, in the same way, just like the example I have you know, given you now, that is how you present your report. When you are writing a report, you do so you know, in an organized form. They might come in parts, you know, they might come under headings and under captions. And you might need to use pictures to, of course, emphasize your point to make your reader understand what the topic is about. Now, this is where we draw the curtain for today. I hope you understood and enjoyed the lesson. Remember, if you have any question, you can always reach me from mom and dad and your question will get answered. Please stay safe and maintain good hygiene. Till we meet again, this is Mrs. Nelly Hanshaw signing off. Bye.